Lauren Grimm, Tucker Carlson, all the right wing, uh, certainly Donald Trump, everyone on the right has realized, oh, our viewers and our voters don't mind lying at all. And they never look anything up. So I'll just pretend I was against the war, who cares? And I'll be like, oh, God damn, why wasn't, oh, you know what? When Obama said we look forward, we don't look backward, that was already a debacle. That means we're not gonna hold any of the criminals accountable because all the crimes are by definition in the past. If you only look forward, you missed them, okay? <laughs> and what do we always tell you guys? When the Democrats make the mistake of agreeing with Republicans, the Republicans will punish them. And now they are, now turning around going, Carl, why didn't Obama hold people again? Why is anybody holding anybody accountable? Unreal. <laughs> My biggest beef with this is, you know, you hear you hear these Republicans like Laura Ingram Ingram complain about about Afghanistan. It's telling that these people look at the 13 people who died in Afghanistan, who of course that was a tragic event, but they look at these 13 people who died in Afghanistan the same way that they look at those four deaths in Benghazi, and they frame them as the most catastrophic events in US history, second to none. And yet, you know, in the same breath, while Trump was overseeing 400,000 deaths from COVID, you know, a, a, a 9-11's worth of deaths every single day, and pretending it wasn't real and saying it would go away with the heat and prescribing bleach to cure it, they were cheering him on like the guy was Churchill, you know? <laughs> yeah, 100%. In fact, here, I'm gonna go to one of our members here. We do the show with our members, uh, tyt.com slash join to become one. Naughty's Maximus says, and who Laura Ingram negotiated a deal with Afghanistan and the Taliban for withdrawal? Donald Trump. Sure did. Okay, everything is sleight of hand. Okay, Trump did it, no, nope, now we're blaming Biden, right? And Brian is indisputably right. If you're upset about 13 Americans who died, how about 400,000 that died that didn't need to die because you uh, told them that you should, they shouldn't take the vaccines and that COVID was no big deal, etc. And then one more thing for me, Glenn Greenwald. So he goes on there and he says, "Oh, can you believe the liberals at the New York Times lied you into that war? Okay, by the way, that is true and fair. The New York Times was terrible on that. And, and we were on the air, we were one of only two national shows saying, don't go to Iraq. Don't, it's a terrible idea, right? And of course, we were called traitors and all those things, right? And the New York Times was awful. You know who was worse? By far, by a lot, Fox News. And they're on Fox News. The, the one media network that is most responsible for the Iraq war by a lot, they made the New York Times look like child's play. Every day, propaganda, 24 hours a day, and that affects CNN and MSNBC. In fact, MSNBC internal memos show that they fired Phil Donahue because they were worried that Fox News looked more patriotic than they did. Fox News was like, war, 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 war. And now Glenn Greenwald comes out and goes, oh my God, this beautiful Fox News is against war. I mean, they're so innocent on oh, the goddamn New York Times. That's another sleight of hand. It's tiring. Well, you <laughs> know ahead. that 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 liberal uh, that liberal company uh, Halliburton benefited. You know, <laughs> so how can you really blame them? Yeah. Um, so Halliburton, of course, Dick Cheney's former company. Dick Cheney got a thirty-four million dollar golden parachute, and then all of a sudden the Iraq War started, and Halliburton made billions of dollars. <laughs> yeah, well-known liberals at Halliburton and all the mercenaries and all the defense contractors. No, it was the right wing and the corporations that made all of the money from the Iraq war and Fox News and Laura Ingram loved it and they're lying to you in the most disingenuous ways today.